Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what we got going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today video is dealing with Jay Prince. Yeah, the pops, he tell the boxer, Shakir Stevenson, tell everything he knows pertaining to what happened with Takeoff at Jazz Prince private B-Day function, man. Because again, y'all got to understand, this is a professional boxer. He's not trying to jeopardize what he has built. You feel what I'm saying? As far as his career. So at the same time, this is what we talking about dealing with J. Prince Jr. and his Mob Ties affiliates. Because there's been a domino effect of situations occurring that's affecting everybody else. You understand? But it seems to not affect J. Prince Jr. like that. And we could even go back to again, to Duke the Jeweler. His family is still affected based on what happened with him. Then you had takeoffs. Then you have the other people who were there who were shot. Feel what I'm saying? And not only that, the people who were there, they getting brought in for questioning based on the whole situation. And that's why I'm telling y'all, because people were brought in for questioning does not mean they're being detained. Feel what I'm saying? That's why I was letting you guys know the difference between a person of interest and someone getting brought in just for questioning. You understand? Because they have to make sure that they have the storyline right. And the reason why Shakira Stevenson is brought into it, I know y'all heard because he rode to the function with DJ Pat. Because DJ Pat, him and DJ Pat, they go back. Feel what I'm saying? So at the same time, he's not knowing that DJ Pat is going up a blicky if he did. Because DJ Pat saying he ain't had nothing to do with it, that he did not delete takeoff. He didn't do none of that. He said, matter of fact, once he heard the, the shots ring, he got up out of there. And Shakira Stevenson followed right behind him. But again, at the same time, the pops, Jay Prince, he want Stevenson to tell everything that he knows. Same thing he told Lil' Cam. That's the reason why once Lil' Cam got locked up, DJ Pat, he was brought in right after. But the thing is, they had to go find DJ Pat because the people say he was on his way to Mexico, if that's true. But at the same time, it's still messed up that Shakira Stevenson, because he wanted to go out and enjoy himself, he get caught between a rock and a hard place. Meaning that a situation he never found himself being a part of, especially pertaining to an upper echelon rapper by the name of Takeoff. Come on, man. Before we get into it, as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to take off. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in the ATL. Quavo, Offset, Lingo. Hey, man, I know it's hard out there, my guys, but hey, y'all gonna get justice sooner or later. That's real talk. Same thing goes for Chicago's own Duke the Jeweler. Rest in peace to Duke the Jeweler. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in Chicago. It's just all messed up. And again, only because people seeing him standing next to take off at the dice game. Yeah, I'm talking about Shakira Stevenson. So people automatically thinking, oh, you know what happened. You understand? But because they get one screenshot, one picture shot of Shakira Stevenson standing next to Takeoff, they think that he know the reason why somebody will up the bleaky on Takeoff. He don't know that. He just went to that function to enjoy himself just like everybody else. Like Takeoff, going back four months ago with Duke the Jeweler, when he was invited out to Houston, he was just going to enjoy himself. You know what I'm saying? Not get set up. Fast forward, we have Shakira Stevenson, a professional boxer, somebody who worked their way up out the mud to become who they are. And now look it, it's just all messed up for folks out here, man. So that's the reason why it's a lot of people in Houston, they checking J. Prince Jr. and his Mob Ties affiliates, man. Because like I keep telling you guys, what's happening to very successful black men hanging around J. Prince Jr. and his Mob Ties guys? Come on, man. We got to do better as a people. And that's real talk. Because somebody who worked their way up out the mud is not trying to start back from ground zero, man. Because y'all got to understand how that makes him look. Yeah, I'm talking about Shakira Stevenson. That could limit the amount of ticket sales that he's able to bring in. I told y'all what's happening with Finesse two times. Folks is not even able to do shows in different parts of the ATL. Now, I'm telling y'all at the same time, there's a lot of people in the ATL who got love for Finesse two times. Again, because of his association to J. Prince Jr., it's limiting his mobility to make money out there. Yeah, even with that, because Shakira Stevenson hopped back in the whip with DJ Pat doesn't mean anything. He only hopped back in the car with the person that he came with. That's what we all do. 
Because y'all seen that Jay Prince Jr., hey man, he walked right past takeoff body. He didn't even care to stay there. That was a private event that he had put together. So how you gonna be the first person that's leaving out when you the one that put together the function, man? So once Stevenson heard the shots ring, he gonna do whatever he need to do to get up out that building and make it back home safe. And that's what he did. So if he rolled to the function with DJ Pat, that's the first person he gonna look for as far as getting back home. Yes, he could have hopped in with Jazz or Jay Prince Jr., but they was already gone. They was out of that ASAP. They didn't care about Shakira Stevenson, so he did what he needed to do. But based on DJ Pat, if DJ Pat did the leap takeoff, that has nothing to do with Shakira. Yeah, that's his homeboy. And again, they gonna bring him in for questioning just to see if DJ Pat will have the motive to do something like this. Because right now, DJ Pat, he telling them people he ain't do it. And that they need to look at Migo Benz and Lil' Cam. Because DJ Pat is basically saying there was no reason for him to up a blicky. Because he didn't have a back and forth with nobody. But we all know that. Migo Benz, he was Quavo in takeoff protection. And Lil' Cam, they say Lil' Cam, he was protecting J. Prince Jr. So basically when Quavo and J. Prince Jr. had a back and forth. And they guys who had the heat on them, they came to see what the issue was. That's when y'all seen the pictures and the footage of Migo Benz. He was coming from about 30 feet away. He wasn't even standing next to Quavo and J. Prince Jr. when they had a disagreement. This is what the people who was there saying. And at the same time, they saying, hey, look at the footage. You guys can see. And the only thing people keep referring to is Migo Benz is really the only one being shown with the heater. But yeah, just like folks were saying. This is all messed up for Shakir Stevenson because he don't deserve this, man. Just like Takeoff didn't deserve it and Duke the Jeweler. I told y'all, man, Duke family, they gonna keep pressing the issue, man. Reason being because they don't see the same push as far as getting the person who blicky down and sent up the jeweler like be doing for takeoff. Again, they not trying to make no comparison because they understand that, you know what I'm saying? People got to get talked to. Talking to the right people that's not paid off because we all know Jay Prince, the pops, he got some of those people in his back pocket. So with Duke, his family is trying to understand, hey, why no arrest like that has occurred? And dealing with that, what's up with the jury? Like I keep telling y'all, man. And I'm going to keep pressing the issue. Because just like Duke family want justice, it's a bunch of other people who's affiliated to Duke. They want justice as well, man. So again, going back to my brother, Shakir Stevenson. Hey, man, what the pops J. Prince is saying? Yeah, Shakir, he need to tell everything that happened. If he's seen DJ Pat up a blicky, he need to let it be known. Because again, he has a whole career at stake. See, these situations right here, dealing with J. Prince Jr. and his mob ties, is causing a disturbing domino effect that a lot of people who are from Houston, they don't agree with. It's different when you get it out the mud based on somebody getting a red carpet treatment. And we all know that J. Prince Jr., he got a red carpet treatment. Shakira Stevenson, the Migos, Quavo, Offset, Takeoff, they had to get it out the mud. You feel what I'm saying? So the reason why I'm bringing that up, because when these guys step out, it's for a reason. Because they don't get out too much, and it's not too many people that they trust when they do go out. Feel what I'm saying? So if they are invited, they're going to make sure they have the time of their life. You understand? Around the people who believe values their life just like they value their own. So at the same time, I try to let you guys know, everybody who is invited to that private event, they're going to be questioned. Does not mean they're a person of interest. It's just that they need to get the whole story so they can understand the people who they can bring in and the people they can alleviate. And even with that, with Jay Prince informing Shakira Stevenson to let it be known based on what happened at the private event. And Jay Prince trying to control the narrative so it don't seem like his son Jay Prince Jr. is involved in a lot of mindless activity. Because the people we're seeing, what Young Chop was talking about, 6 9 and a couple other people who had beef with Jay Prince Jr. in the past. That he all talk. And at the same time, the situations that he get himself involved in is bringing down everybody else around him. And I don't think that's something that he's paying attention to. Because when you're a spoiled suburban kid and you mostly get your way, you're not paying attention to the outcome relating to everybody else. That means it's more to come. Be true. You know what I'm saying? They treat you to you. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and do what you do. But your soul. And represent from where you from. You know they gonna love you. Hey, but we got more in store. As always. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.